Hey guys, John here from IncomeMesh.com. In today's video, we're going to take a spotlight look at one of the new Gutenberg plugin block features, which is the Ultimate Blocks plugin for Gutenberg. And here is their WordPress site. So you can see here, uh, let's take a look at their stats. There was last updated two weeks ago. A few installations. So this is kind of a first look at this plugin, um, but it is doing very well. It's getting good reviews. And there's one specific feature that I am absolutely blown away by and that's right here the first bullet point is they have a review schema markup enabled block so let me go ahead and go into a new post and let's assume you're an affiliate marketer and you want to have those stars show up on your google search results here's how you can do that super simply all right so i'm here on a website let's just take a quick look here this is the ultimate blocks menu and you can enable or disable individual blocks if you want or don't want them and a couple that are very notable is obviously the review one so we're going to take a hard look at that we also like this progress bar is very nice you know you see a lot of progress bars and little uh, opt-in forms and sign up boxes and things like that that's nice to have also star ratings are very good for affiliate marketers as well so let's go ahead and make a new blog post and we'll call this one ultimate blocks okay so let's go ahead and show you so we scroll down here we're going to see this ultimate blocks area now, and these are all red boxes, so you can very quickly <laughs> identify which ones they are. And first and foremost, let's take a look at this review box, and this one is so cool. So what we can do here, I scroll up a little bit. Okay, so when you insert this box, it gives you a lot of stuff already. So it gives you the ability to put a title for the review. So let's say we're going to call this ultimate blocks. Give it a title. You can give it a review author name, and it's doing this very... Uh, deliberately because these are all parts of the schema markup. I won't go into all the details of what schema actually is in this video, but essentially it is the stuff that allows Google and Amazon Alexa and other very smart people out there know what your content is about and allow you to better categorize it and show those rich pieces of information like a star rating or showing recipe ingredients all those little things that show up in those search results that's all part of the schema that's enough for this video i really want to show you how cool and easy this plugin is to use though so for the author john from income mesh and then here's what's really awesome so you can automatically provide feature reviews so we'll say ease of use ease of user ease of use let's give it a three stars click the plus button get another feature uh, professionalism I don't know give it four stars and you can see here it's giving you an automatic tally so for those of us who aren't math geeks this is awesome right like if I don't have Excel I can't do mental math so this is great uh, easy to use professionalism and cost and we'll give it a five stars for cost and you can see it's even actually doing the math before you give it a rating it's assuming you want zero stars so it's pretty cool and you can remove a feature here by clicking the trash can etc cetera, etc cetera. so and we can say summary of ultimate blocks and just hit the tab to move down this is very easy to use guys um, i love this feature okay so i said i love this feature even for this block alone ultimate blocks is worth the download and then for the call to action you can say buy now or check it out and then you can send it to a link okay and so now let's take a look at how this is on the front end all right so we'll preview all right, let me hide myself and move myself out of the way. And so you can see here, I mean, this looks great. You've got a nice little box shadow. It's very, very subtle. You've got your, um, your feature set here. This is what would show up in your search results for that review post. And it'll also be able to show some of the details like the author, who it is, and what the review is. So this is very, very good. This is a great feature. Um, and I, I would assume, I mean, I've installed this plugin for nothing more than this block alone. Because oftentimes, um, review snippet plugins, they're either expensive, they're hard to use, or a combination of the both. And this being a free block, and you can use this in any post or page, just great, great job here. Let's go back and check out some of the other blocks here with Ultimate Blocks. So I like here the star one. Let me find the star rating. And so you can very easily give it either a star count, a star size, so you can make the stars bigger. You can include <laughs> eight stars for some reason. So we'll include 10 stars and we'll select six of them. And you can also, of course, change the star color to your branding colors or whatever the case might be. That's also a nice one and you should be able to align this. And you can, oh, that's very nice. You can put the text of the review. So this is a star review. Very cool here. A couple others I liked on this setup here, the feature box. 
everybody likes feature boxes. It seems like that's uh, you can't walk down the street without finding a few feature boxes in a Gutenberg plugin. So we'll do a three column, and these are these are image based feature boxes. So you can put an image in here. This is a feature. <laughs> this guy's a feature. You get the idea. What's nice is they do uh, give you the ability to quickly remove the image and sw swap that out. So that's pretty standard, pretty good. And lastly, let me show you the progress bar because I think this one's also very well done. So you see it has a nice little animation there. So we can increase or decrease the thickness, maybe make it three. So you can see it's kind of cool. And then you can also move it up to 50%. So you'd imagine if you have like a confirmation page when you're having people opt in, then you want to give them other instructions. This is a nice thing to have here. You can also change it to a circle counter, but I like the bar. And now let's save this draft and show this as well. Okay, so we're here on the page. If we scroll down, we'll see the uh, counter bar. That was already uh, loaded when I scrolled down. So let me move this up to the top. Click, 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 click. Okay, so now our progress bar is at the top. So we'll say, almost there. One more step. You guys have all seen that, right? Where they <laughs> tell you what you need to do. So now let's let this uh, update and we'll see how the progress bar animates on the front end. So very nice, right? Like this is a great set of plugins. It's all working very well as you would expect it to. And I'm, I'm impressed with it. So that is your first look at the Ultimate Blocks Gutenberg plugin. If you are looking for a way to do affiliate marketing and have a review post set up nicely and you don't want to rely on your theme itself, which is never a good idea to be to totally reliant on your theme, um, I would recommend checking out the Ultimate Blocks plugin. It's free and I also go into much more depth of this plugin in my Gutenberg Hero course. You can click on the link in the description below to get access to that course. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. I'll see you.